Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Something slightly different uh, today. We're looking at the Leica BLK360. I have got a TXT file from it which Unreal will uh, allow you to import using the LiDAR plugin and I'm just going to show you how to do some things in real time with adjusting the point size and point shape and assigning it to some sliders using an iPhone or a similar device to send OSC maybe to control this later on. So we'll start off with a new project. I'm just going to go to games here. I'm going to just choose blank and uh, no starter content, desktop, ray tracing disabled. All of this is correct. So once your Unreal is ready, the first thing you need to do is to go into plugins here, edit plugins, and just make sure that the LiDAR plugin is enabled. You have to be using I think it's 4.25 and above for this. I'm using 4.25. As soon as you've done this, you've got to restart your Unreal, so just click restart and it will bring it straight back up again and then we can just import the file straight in and um, once the plugin is loaded basically you just want to go to import here the file in so as I say I've got this saved as a txt file it will take other formats the Unreal LiDAR documentation is pretty good it shows you what formats it can accept and I'm not going to go into the specifics of any formats or anything at this stage, but I'm just going to go into import all here as well. And it may take a bit of time depending on your system. And I'm not going to change anything here or build any lights. This is just solely about changing some of the parameters of the point cloud in real time. And I will be doing everything within the level blueprint as well, which isn't great practice, but we're not running anything else in this level. But I'll show you how we do that so the first thing I'll probably do is just scale up this floor uh, again you may not have to do this this is just depending on what character what um, first person if you're using a first person character or not just to have a collision there for you to walk around um, and then I'm going to drag this straight in and I'll switch to my left viewport here to try to W key there just to move this up and try to put it somewhere in the middle and just check it with the perspective and again this wasn't a great scan this is just a corridor of where I work and it was very very quick so don't judge me on the scan here this is really just about um, uh, interactivity if I just press the F key and just get our player start in the right place here this should come as default in your level and it's just when I press play I should go into that point cloud. The uh, final thing I'm going to do, there's a, quite a few holes in this scan but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to choose the floor here and under details here I'm just going to make this not visible. So the collision should still be there but it's not going to render in. And I will choose new editor window here. In fact I'll choose the advanced settings here. Um, okay and I'm just going to choose 1920 by 1080 so when I press play here it's going to launch in a new window which is full HD so when I press play there and move around I can oh, wrong hit this little arrow and um, do new editor window and press play there I can see my point cloud come to life and again don't don't judge the scan on this it's, it, it's not perfect but it was quick and it's relatively detailed and I'm just using the WASD keys and the, the mouse here to move around my scan so if I just press escape there I'm just going to go in and have a look at some of the details here that we have for this point cloud if I just go into the appearance here under details I can see some of the things that um, I might be able to do to this if I hit that arrow down there point size is adjustable here and uh, I'll just switch that back to one and maybe the point shape where we can have circles or squares these are the two parameters we're going to try to affect in real time again this could be useful for some architects or something like that or someone just trying to manipulate this in real time but I'm just really more just trying to show you the kind of things you can do in Unreal. I'm sure you could set up some color adjustments or something like that as well with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the um, level blueprint here and do everything from here. And the useful thing about this is you can create references easily from the level blueprint. So I'm just going to choose the point cloud and just drag it in here. 
and then I'm going to look for a key press to assign this to um, I'm going to just put in keyboard space L here to assign this to the L key you can change this to whatever key you want and from here I am going to type in apply rendering parameters and I'll connect using the left mouse button the L key to here and here I'm going to look for size so this should be the set point size yeah and I'll connect the target in there and what I'll do at this point is right click here and promote this to a variable and I will I've already done this earlier so what I'm just going to do is just delete that and just call this variable point size and at this point you have to compile and save as I say I've done this already but change the value of this to 1 once you've compiled and saved it might ask you to save your map and what that's going to do is every time I press the L key it's going to set the point size to 1 of course it starts at 1 already so what we need in here is some way of bringing this up so I'm just going to pull from this and do two pluses and that will give me increment float and I'm going to just push that into there and break the link to this and put that in there instead and maybe just do a print string to just check what values coming out of here and connect that to there so let's have a look at that and see if that works okay one thing to note from this is this increments by one which might be too much for you so if you double click this you can actually get into this and change this to 0 0.1 like I've done before and save but you might have to change it back again if you're going to use it again but let's let's try this now and see how this works so if I go in here and just tap the L key it goes to zero something's not right let's have a quick look at this blueprint again sorry I should have left that connected in there apologies let's try that again okay so it starts off with one every time I'm tapping it that's increasing and we can see this rather silly effect but we are effectively changing the point cloud size by 0 0.1 every time I press this key so let's escape out of that and quickly look at the rest of the code so the K key is going to reverse that so it's literally I just copy all of this code and then V messy in here just click on the L key here and change that to a K maybe there's the K and here we want to decrement rather than an increment so if I just delete that put this in here and put a minus minus in there I should get a decrement and again make sure this is double click this make sure it's set to 0 0.1 my one is let's throw that in there and see if the K key works compile save press play so there's the K key reducing the point cloud and there's the L key increasing the point cloud so what I'm going to show you now is the OSC plugin in Unreal if you go up to your plugins here um, I think it's from version 4.25 I'm using 4.25 here and um, what I'm going to do is use this excellent application called touch designer I, I know very little about it but all I'm doing here is just receiving input and sending it to OSC out and Unreal will pick that up via this very messy blueprint and hopefully assign some real-time parameters using the iPad as an interface so let us just press play so what I have here is a slider where I've set the point cloud between 1 and 0 and we can fade that in in, in real time and I've also assigned these three buttons to be the different color sources this one's elevation I think this one's um, position and that's just the standard data and then again you've got the slider there so just a cool little way of um, sort of altering the parameters in real time using the uh, it's a free OSC app off the App Store and again if anyone wants me to elaborate on this in a future tutorial I'm happy to do so there is some excellent resources out there for how to set up this plugin and I will put them in the links here in reference to people that I've copied and then I can go over some of the iPad configuration and again the settings used for this point cloud but anyway if you enjoyed that and you want to see future stuff showing the setup of this just like comment subscribe and I will 
do my best to provide another tutorial. Thanks for watching.